This video gives instructions for how to use Excel to do a hypothesis test for the difference between means using dependent samples. I'll use the following example. A shoe manufacturer claims that athletes can increase their vertical jump heights using the manufacturer's new strength shoes. The vertical jump heights of eight randomly selected athletes are measured. After the athletes have used the strength shoes for eight minutes, their vertical jump heights are measured again. The vertical jump heights in inches for each athlete are shown in the table. Assume the vertical jump heights are normally distributed. Is there enough evidence to support the manufacturer's claim with the type 1 error rate of 0 0.10? In this case, the claim is the alternative hypothesis that the mean of the differences is less than 0. The null hypothesis is that the mean of the differences is greater than or equal to 0. Enter the paired data into two columns. Column B lists the jump heights before the treatment, and column C lists after. Each row corresponds to one athlete. You can list the level of significance alpha and the degrees of freedom somewhere convenient. I'll list them in B11 and B12. In column D, calculate the difference for each athlete. Type equals, then click B2 minus C2. Using cell references will allow us to fill down in column D to automatically subtract for each athlete. The critical value T sub C comes from the T distribution. Since this is a left tail test, in B13 I'll type equals T.INV, click alpha, comma, degrees of freedom. We will reject the null hypothesis if we see a standardized test statistic less than this critical value. The test statistic, the mean of the differences, can be found using equals average and selecting the differences in column D. This value is D bar. I'll list D bar with the other information in B14. The standard deviation of the differences can be found using equals stdev.s and selecting the differences in column D. The standardized test statistic is found by subtracting the hypothesized mean from the sample mean of the differences, D bar minus mu sub D. In this case, the null mean is 0. Then, divide by S sub D over root N. I'll put this calculation in B16. It's important to put both the numerator and denominator in parentheses. Type equals, open parentheses, click the D bar we found in B14, minus 0, close parentheses, forward slash to divide, then in the denominator, open parenthesis, click the standard deviation we calculated in B15, divided by SQRT8, close the denominator parenthesis, and press enter. We compare the value we just found to the critical T value in B13. Since the standardized test statistic is less than the critical value, we reject the null hypothesis. In this case, it looks like the shoe manufacturer's claim is supported by this data.